I'm bothered a bit at how a number of people are suggesting that the best chances we have of beating Trump is to push a candidate that's far left, to ignore the reasons why Hillary lost, and to ignore the reasons why Obama won twice. How are some of you honestly imagining that policies such as open borders and minority identity politics and the Green New Deal is somehow a winning strategy against Trump in 2020. That pushing for policies that the right wing is going to label as socialist is a winning strategy. It doesn't matter if the policies we push are actually socialist or not. If they get labeled as socialist, it's not going to work out so well. We can't afford it. We can't afford to have Trump win again. Perception matters. Earlier today, I watched a Young Turks video where Cenk was declaring that Generation Z and Millennials are far left-leaning. Therefore, they're the key to winning against Trump. So the idea is that we should promote the types of policies that they would push at safe spaces in college campuses, that we should ignore candidates who are more like Obama unless we're purely talking about their race and gender? Smash the white supremacist patriarchy. And people are saying things like, well, look how Obama's policies are being dismantled by Trump. As if that's a valid reason to push for far-left policy. You know, over being more centered. Obama got things done. Obama was a pretty good president. He was a pretty successful president. He was also a warmonger. But in general, he was pretty successful. Do we really want to completely discard a successful model simply because Republicans who get power can dismantle it? I mean, what's the logic here? To have a perfect, foolproof plan? A purity spiral? I mean, what do you want? I want it all! Well, you're not going to get it all. You try for that, and that's a losing strategy. I want us to actually beat Trump in 2020. But if we really, really continue to act like the only reason why Trump won is Russia, 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 and the Electoral College, and not because Hillary was disliked by so many people, and not because Hillary had no plans on how to keep businesses from outsourcing and moving away, then we'll probably lose to Trump again. Bernie isn't a good candidate, because besides being too old now, he lets himself get walked all over. You just have to look at how he reacted to when Black Lives Matter interrupted his speech. He's not a leader. In order to beat Trump, we need someone who is well-liked, who is able to be a leader, and stand up for their values regardless of the odds that are put in front of them. And their values need to actually resonate decently with a large percentage of the country, not just the millennials and Generation Zers. Obama had that. Hillary didn't. Beto doesn't. Bernie doesn't. Elizabeth doesn't. We need a winning candidate. We can't virtue signal our way to beating Trump. We need to get real here.